Welcome, Reflections. You are over here with Sarithia, and we are here for another Decoders video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, okay? So with that being said, we are over here to decode the video California Love, okay? Okay, so I am going to try to decode this the best way I can. We're not gonna do um, we're not gonna do the sound because we're not trying to get struck reflex. We're not trying to let them strike me, baby. Okay, but with that being said, we are going to decode it to the best um of our abilities, reflection without them striking us. So let's start off the name California. Okay, so look at the name California Reflection. Let me see if it'll let me share my screen. Keep in mind, this is my first time even using StreamYard. So um, bear with me, Reflection. <laughs> okay, so let's see. <laughs> okay, so here we go, Reflection. Take a look at this right here. So now california look at the name california remember it's only magic if you can hide it in plain sight now california re reminds you of what what is the first four letters of california it is cali okay so when we think about cali who is cali reflection if you don't know let's look it up cali with a k not a c okay Now, the goddess Kali is actually a major Hindu goddess associated with time, change, creation, power, destruction, death. Okay, Reflection? Not only that, Reflection, she goes by a lot of different names. Okay? This is the goddess Kali right here, and Shiva is her husband. Okay? So this is actually a familiar um, a familiar picture that you all probably have seen. And who hasn't? This is um, the goddess, and this is her husband right here. And she is actually the goddess of transformation, reflection, and in other, um, depending on what you read, what you're reading and where you are. Remember things, the names change depending on the place. So this is also Oya as well. Remember, is she not the goddess of transformation as well? Reflection and pay attention to her hands as well. Symbolism is everything. Okay. So with that being said, let's keep it going. Okay. So Oh, that's actually, um, if you see the similarities in California and Cali, okay? So it's all going to come together. Now, let's look at Los Angeles, okay? So take the E, make it silent, reflection, put your little finger right there and act as if it's not even there, okay? You know, in the English um, language, certain things can be silent, okay? So what does this say? It says loss, which is loss angels not angeles remember if you're in certain places they will pronounce it certain way but this is lost angels reflections okay now why would this be um why would they name this state of course there's cali and we also have down here lost angels or los angeles okay now this all goes back to again the um video California love okay because it is indeed in um California Los Angeles California as well so let me um stop sharing my screen real quick reflection and let me show you something else in this video because remember I gotta stop it and I'm gonna play it again I'm going to let you see what I see, and we're going to play it again. When the video first come on, it says that the one who controls the dance floor is the one who controls me, is the one who can control the people. Now, if you will notice, who is the... um. Who is the Lord of music? It is Shiva. It is Shiva reflection. It is Callie's husband, okay? The one who is the Lord of music, okay? So with that being said, just keep all that in mind, okay? 
Now, in this video, let me show you, let me show you a picture um, of this video that I have to stop it real quick. So now I'm gonna show y'all what I mean. If you will notice in this video, they're inside of a dome reflection. They are inside of a dome. Do you see that reflection? They are all inside of a dome, okay? And not only that, you will notice throughout the video, some of them have on chains. This is not a coincidence. They even have on a mask in the background, okay? And remember, Shiva is the lord of music when the video first come on i can't play the sound but you can reflection and it will say the one who controls the dance floor which is music is the one who controls the people okay and in this video they are inside of a dome okay so with that being said let's stop it right there and let's keep going okay i'm gonna play a little bit more of the video and then i'm coming show you more about what i mean but yes this is depicting reflection what do you think they're depicting the this is the city of los angels they're inside of a dome some of them are even in chains reflection okay and i'm going to show you something else if you will notice dr dre in this um video when they snuck in they're sneaking in reflection i'm gonna show you tupac he's actually he came in and he snuck in reflection what do you think is everything is using um symbolism and again if you can pull up this video on your end and you can kind of go along with me and you'll see what i'm talking about okay but yeah he actually snuck in reflection and i hate i gotta do it like this but i know they will strike me down to the ground reflection okay so if you're playing it on your side you can kind of see what i mean i'm gonna pause it right here and let y'all see what i mean when i say um dr dre look at him he actually has one of his eyes covered reflection okay do you see that do you see right here and it says, tell me there's something going on at the dome. Okay, reflection. They are in a dome. I can't make this up. One eye is covered. They are in a desert. If we know anything about Egyptian, that represents what? Horus reflection. Okay. <laughs> so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let me stop. Um, Let me stop sharing that real quick. Okay. And let's keep going a little bit. So, yes, this is they're depicting the fallen angels reflection. This is what they're depicting. Because if if you will look at the top, now look right here, they're um they're actually freeing them. They're trying to free them. Now, that's why they're sneaking in to free the ones who are still chained up. Okay. Because if you will notice in this video, that's what they're doing. Reflection. Look at this. That that's on his head that is what they're doing they're freeing them the ones that are still chained up inside of the dome okay that is the symbolism in this um video so let's keep going and again you can play it on your side too so you can see um what i mean okay so yes they're basically saying they're free at last they just took the chains off. Then it came back in for the gang reflection. But this is definitely depicting the fallen angels. And again, let me show you um, this right here in the video. You can see a better picture of the dome. So you can clearly see they're depicting that this is the dome. And, and they are inside of the dome. And they're breaking out of the dome okay reflections do you see that all right and this right here it looks like an airplane but what else could it be depicting okay let's keep it going let's keep it going reflections it's only magic if you can hide it in plain sight remember that okay okay so look right here reflections look right here and you're going to see right here they have got their free out of the dome so this is them okay they got out of the dome they running up out of the dome you see that 
it looked way bigger but now it, they came up and now they're free they're running free and if you'll notice he's the only one in all black and white and he has a symbol right there on his right um on the right uh part of his chest up there okay so and as you can see of course it's the school heads in the back so and they're in the desert again remember what what took place um in egyptian history in the desert what does the when you think about the desert you think of set okay so let's keep it going and for everybody who don't know who set is let's go back and again there goes shiva i'm sorry there goes shiva there goes cali okay now for um everyone who don't know who set is okay here you go it, it, he is the god of the deserts reflection he is the god of the deserts okay he is the set is the son of Geb, which is the earth and net which is the sky okay and his siblings of course is osiris and isis and of course nephis so let's keep it going reflection okay so when we think of the desert and we see all that we got the one eye symbolism that represents horse okay so let's keep it going we're going to stop this right here and we're going to play a little bit more of the video okay so let's take a look right here reflection i hate that i gotta stop it and keep doing this but this is just oakland okay oakland we all know about the oak tree and it is a archway whenever you see an archway that means you're going through going from one land to another land one realm to another realm okay so it says welcome to oakland okay so what we all know about the oak tree but for everyone who don't know about the oak tree let's talk about it okay let's see what is the oak tree The oak tree is regarded as a sacred tree in many cultures and it is associated with many gods all over the world, notably Zeus and Thor. Okay, so the oak tree is said to have spirits. Okay, it is said to um a lot of people will actually use the oak tree. They will use the Hollywood too in magical ones, but they will also use the oak wood as well, reflection. Okay. So the oak tree is a very um a very sacred tree especially to um zeus jupiter thor whoever you would like to um call it okay whoever you would like to call them reflection okay so and they even said it was said that if you got a piece of oak tree that was actually struck by lightning reflection that you had um a very magical piece of oak wood okay and a lot of people would love to get that and actually make their magical ones out of it okay so just keep that in mind so when you're answering this is a very sacred tree and it's sacred to who is sacred to zeus reflection okay so just keep that in mind so it says welcome to oak land welcome to zeus land okay and they're entering and they're exiting okay let's keep it going let's keep it going let's keep it going okay so let's break down a little bit more symbolism reflection okay here we go again representing the dome let's let's see let's look at this okay right here we have dome again as you can clearly see um they're coming up out of the dome <laughs> reflection i mean you have to know how to pause them to see certain things just watching the video you wouldn't see any of this would you reflection but when you pause it at 127 you see a lot of things don't you reflection okay so just keep that in mind all right there goes another symbolism like i said they're coming out of the dome it is symbolism it is greatest all right so let's keep it going and again i want to just show you some of them that's um in chains okay but you again you would have to watch this video you may have to watch it a, a couple of times to really um forgive me for that um to really get the graphs of a reflection but yeah 
And remember, I told you that it's um it's sacred to who? Okay, who is it sacred to? All right, now let me show you this right here reflection. They have the goat head right there, of course. <laughs> they have the dome back there, of course. They have the tri the chains right there, of course, that they're, they're represent that they're breaking up out of the chains reflections. Okay, so what do you think about this reflection? What do you think about California love? Do you think that this is a depiction of the, of the lost angels breaking out of the dome? And if so, what dome are they talking about? Drop in the comments and let me know what do you think, Reflection, because I am very curious to know. Hit the like and subscribe button because you never want to miss out on another conspiracy decoding symbolism video. Until next time, I shake.